So we're about three minutes away from the Adelaide Supercharger. Uh, we're just currently stuck in traffic at the moment. It is 5 p.m. So it is peak hour, but um, saying it's only three minutes away, so in about 200 meters we have to turn down Flinders Street. So it looks like there's just this one over here. Now turn left onto Flinders Street. about 800 meters we have to take a left onto Bowen Street and then immediately it's at the supercharger apparently. My windscreen is very dirty from the, the drive from Melbourne. I will mention that. <laughs> so if you can see it in the video then I'm sorry. Ah oh, yes I'll see that right there. So we have been plugged in for approximately 5 minutes now and as you can see the green light is on and it is charging. We'll just make our way into the front of the car to check the progress of the charging. And here we have supercharger charging at 62 kilowatts with a speed of 450 kilometers per hour. We arrived with 80 kilometers in the tank. Um, and now it is currently up to 116, uh, which is 32%. Uh, Fast forward 20 minutes and now it's currently charging at 44 kilowatts. Uh, it's currently got 77% uh, charge in the battery. Yeah, so essentially we gained 40% within 20 minutes uh, at this supercharger. I will mention as well, when I did pull up to this charging station, there was a second Tesla charging on the same station as we were. The current generation superchargers utilize a single 150 kilowatt back end that is shared between two charging stalls. If a single vehicle is charging, it can pull down the 150 kilowatts, but if a second vehicle plugs in, that 150 kilowatt feed is shared between the two vehicles. So after 40 minutes, uh, we have 90% battery, still charging at only 20 kilowatts at a charge rate of 150 kilometers per hour. Uh, the current, the cost for the session was uh, $15.75. Five minutes left, so I might as well click stop charging. That's already closed, and we are good to go. 